Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a little bit of a surface offset. What I'm doing right now is working on a case for this case. So think inception, case within a case. And let's get right into it. Also, just want to say this is a pretty complex uh, situation. So I'm, I'm going to assume a couple things and I'm going to do everything for you, but just show you the process of how I kind of do it. So basically, once you get going and you already have all the pieces you want, let me just show you real quick. What I did is I drew this rectangle, I moved it to the side, I rotated them both uh, so that I can use them as split bodies. And as you can see, I split my six sections into three pieces each. So once we have that, we basically go in and we focus on what we need. So I just hid one away, I used a little eye function. And what I need to do is I need an offset of this body, right? So I make like a window style thing in this place. And the way that we can achieve that is by using a sketch. Since we separated this into 20 degrees, we have a flat plane to work on and I created an offset. Then I found the size of that offset because it didn't cover the whole circle. And I created a circle and I used tangent to align it with that circle. Then I also went ahead and uh, made an extra sketch. Let me just get in there and show you. See, and also one thing, don't delete your sketches until you're done with your project because if you deleted your sketches here, you wouldn't have that center line to work with unless you were already exactly in the center. So one thing to note, don't delete your sketches until you're absolutely done with them. But let's get to this part. As you can see, I have this little offset here and I extended the wall to the left there as you can see the shape so that it that when I use the subtract function, it will not be on, exactly on the edge and leave some kind of, you know, artifact, a piece behind. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a little piece. Let's move it to the side. Select that little piece we have and the extra piece that we made so that we don't have any issues later. We're going to revolve it around that center line. And now we have our like exact match in a sense. So what we need to do now is that since we have our shape, we can move it a specific amount instead of degrees. Because like, for example, if I move it three degrees, okay, you know, how, how many millimeters is that? But in, once we have this, we can move it a certain size. So this is basically an offset. And this is what I like to do. Uh, so in this case, we move it 3.2 millimeters. Oh, and you see that's this, the piece that I was trying to prevent. So what we need to do is hide the sketch. That way we're not extruding uh, a specific shape, but moving the body. So we move it 3.2 millimeters in this case, and then we can unhide the piece that we had. But before we do that, we need to multiply six times because I need this done on every little piece. But uh, let's go ahead and just change the color to make it match. Once we have all those pieces, we can go ahead and we can use the pattern tool because I used to do this manually, just you know, revolve a certain degrees and revolve it again. But pattern tool is great for this as long as you have a center line. So we do need those sketches again. Uh, don't delete those sketches until you're done. Let's go back and open up the sketch in whichever one it is. Let's find it. Um, there we go. There's a center line. So now we can choose our piece. If we can't reach it, we can always use it from the menu. But let's go ahead and use the pattern tool and uh, revolve it around the center. So as you can see, I can't reach it here because of the sketches as well. So you can use the trick. You can go inside the model if you rotate at the correct axis. And then that makes it easier as well. And uh, we go ahead and choose the center line. We revolve it 360 degrees and we need six of these since we have six sections that we're trying to subtract away from. So this is pretty basic stuff, but like in most cases you won't even need to do this. But for those people who do, this is why I made this tutorial just because I was already working on it and I decided to make a video. So go ahead and select all those pieces. The plus means you're subtracting from the minus means it's the thing that you're subtracting. So just keep that in mind as well. Then we can just go ahead and choose the menu because it's already in a folder. Like why waste time clicking them all? And we could just do that. We could have also just clicked the folder, but I'm just showing you guys that there's different ways of doing it. Um, let's go ahead and hide that. Now we have our surface offset just like we needed. And I mean, it looks great. Now we just need to change the color and we'll have exactly what we need. So select it all just by swipe down, you know, hold down swipe. And uh, we have our piece and it's all one piece. Now we can hide the sketches and we don't need them. So hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. But uh, I saw this in plasticity, the surface offset. And I was like, wow, I wish Shape had this. But Istvan did say that we won't have surface offset. So this is the workaround for those who absolutely need it. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, but it's possible. Everything is possible if you want it. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
Here at JLake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more. See you again soon.